So I'm going to spend a little bit of talking about, in generality, types of uh, categorical displays. And I'm also going to give you a few admonishments on how to get all your uh, points on the AP exam, beginning with that. So regardless as to whether a display um, is categorical or quantitative, so regardless whether it's categorical or quantitative, it's important not only to label uh, the display, but to provide a title, label the axes, and provide a key or legend. You've got to do these things, okay? Failure to label has resulted in zero points being awarded for otherwise perfectly drawn displays. If you leave off one of those, typically you get half credit. So make sure you're doing all of those. Extremely, extremely critical, regardless whether or not you are doing categorical data or quantitative data. So we're gonna have a list of some of the more uh, common categorical displays, and then I'll show examples of those in the next video. So a bar chart, which we previously did, we previously just said, hey, a bar chart is a chart where we had uh, the bars that were not actually touching. We had actually had bars that were not touching. And the reason we said they couldn't touch is because order didn't matter. Now, the fact of the matter is, that's what AP says, the bars shouldn't chart touch, but every now and then they have them touch um, and they still call it a bar chart. So they've not been really picky about it, but they say that they shouldn't. Um, the vertical height, the vertical height of this is either gonna be the frequency, the counted data, or if we do it in percents, it'll be known as the relative frequency, right? So we have actual data, which is going to be the frequency or relative frequency, which is basically percents. All right, the next thing is there's a lot of confusion between a bar chart versus a histogram because they look alike. This is for categorical data, where this is for quant, quantitative data. All right. And it looks exactly alike, except the bars actually do touch each other because you go, there is an order to them. So categorical, no order, because what comes first, blue or red? Whereas um, here, measurement does have an order to it. Another type of chart is the pie chart, all right, which is subdivided into sectors based on their proportion. So we're giving actual percents and these are their relative frequencies. Um, the next one is a segmented bar chart, which is a stack bar chart, and it'll go to 100%. Every single bar will go into 100% because all the subgroups that make up a bar will add up to 100%. Um, the next section is going to be independence, and I'm gonna do that in, in, a, in a moment. I want to take a look real quickly. Um, I'm going to skip ahead and look at a couple uh, bar charts real quickly and pie charts, et cetera. And then we're going to come back and talk about independence in a separate video. So pie chart, basically we have um, in this particular um, setup, we represent a 2017 Pew Research Poll of political affiliation by race. And we see that we have 44% are Democrat here, 42% um, are um, um, independent. And we just have each race um, broken out. We have Asian, Black, Hispanic, and white. And basically all we've done is on this particular page is this, this is the party political affiliation by race. And when you say independent, we mean the independent party or not, as, not associated. When I look at a bar chart, notice the bars are not touching. The bars are not touching. And um, once again, we have the exact same information as we have in the pie chart above. Moving on to the next page, and there's a little bit of a problem here. All of these should have percent. So this should be 44%, 12%, 4%, 42%. And that should be the case on all of these. So please add the little percent there. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up, but it never did. 
So anyway, get the percents in. So these are all represented as percents. And once again, we're still showing the same information. And this is a segmented bar chart, okay? And notice in our key, we say, oh, that's 42% independent. Well, guess what? 42% independent, all right? And we'd actually show the exact same thing again here as 42% independent. So a segmented bar chart just has all the segments. In this case, we started off with independent, then we went to other, then we went to Republican, and then we went to Democrat, and then it add up to 100%. And these are my categories listed across the bottom, all right? The next video, we're gonna talk about independence, which is gonna be kind of a long topic.